Hey y'all, so obviously those of y'all that have been following me and specifically these Cooking with Claire Cook cooking videos, you'll notice that it's a different scene. Well, we are currently in our house that we're renting while our other house is being built. So yeah, so I'm finally getting life situated. I know a lot of y'all that have moved know exactly what I'm talking about. And so this recipe that I'm gonna show y'all is, I mean, it really is one that's simple that you can not even worry about the crock pot. But when life is crazy and the last thing you wanna have to worry about getting home is cooking dinner, this is a great way. You could do it first thing in the morning, let it simmer and cook all day, and then it will switch automatically to warm. So by the time you get home, you get the kids straight. You can, you all you have to do is just do the taco shells. So yeah, there you go, taco shells. So y'all don't know by that little hint, I am gonna be doing taco meat in the crock pot today. And yeah, I know this is so silly, and a lot of y'all like, okay, what, what did you gotta tell me with this? But no, this is just a great way to kind of give y'all that incentive that if you haven't tried it, you do know that you can, this is an option. And I was gonna go with more of a Valentine's kind of crock pot idea, but my thing is, a lot of us can't go out on dates for Valentine's. With everything going on, it's kind of hard to find a sitter, do this or that. So what you can do is put the kids taco meat in here. Let the kids eat this, and then that way you can spend time with creating whatever little meal you want to do for you and your significant other. So yeah, so this is, this can be used for Valentine's Day, so don't get me wrong. This is great for any other time of the week, but also take advantage if you want to spend more time creating something special for your loved one on Valentine's Day. Fix the kids this and then you fix something else for y'all. And you'll see that I kind of have a mixture of things up here. Um, I know a lot of us normally just get like the regular taco seasoning, just put it with the taco meat. But if for some reason you do not have these on hand, maybe you are one that's not much on these little packets, you wanna control what you're putting into your food yourself. Taco seasoning is super easy to create and honestly, I went to make this and I was like, you know what? We eat taco meat literally at least once, once a week. Like y'all, I'm not playing well, at least once a week. <laughs> and it's because that's what my son wants to eat. He is obsessed with taco meat. And it's taco meat and cheese. I know a lot of y'all have probably heard me say this before, but he literally could eat this every night of the week. And with him, with the medication he's taken, it is, it kind of interferes with his appetite during the day. So you better believe that we're gonna make sure that he eats dinner no matter what. So if the boy wants taco meat and cheese, we are fixing him taco meat and cheese. So I only had one of these in stock in my pantry. I'm like, Lord have mercy, what am I gonna do? Well, again, you can make your own. And the, what I use is normally just ground cumin, some onion, and then you can use chili powder, but we found this and we really like this. It is a, um, it's more of a, like a Mexican kind of chili powder, and so this one is great. And um, yeah, you just put it all in here, and you just add it, just like you with the taco seasoning. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my taco meat, my one packet, that's all I had, as well as my taco seasoning I put together. So yeah, so y'all check it out and see what y'all think. 